What's going on Trophy Hunters? How's everyone doing today? Welcome to this week's episode of the Platinum Trophy Show, your weekly news trophy PlayStation show on the Platinum Trophy YouTube channel. Today's a little bit of a different one, but uh, bear with me, stay tuned, and let's get into all the news. <laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome back. As I said at the top, today's a little bit of a different one. I, I uh, Things are changing over at PlayStation by the looks of it. So as a lot of you guys know, normally I post a weekly show called The Drop and basically that's looking at all the new PlayStation releases that are coming out this week. Unfortunately, this week on the PlayStation blog, The Drop didn't appear and there was, there was no drop. So we weren't able to do that and that's why that episode of The Drop hasn't come out yet. I don't know if that's a regular thing now and the drop no longer exists, or if it's just this week that it doesn't exist. Normally I would err on the side of it's just this week. However, we did have another massive change on the PlayStation blog this week, which might signal the end of our upcoming releases, at least in the format that we knew. Uh, so over on the PlayStation blog now, you'll, I don't know if you'll notice, but I certainly noticed the European PlayStation blog and the US PlayStation blog have both completely disappeared. Uh, so any of the EU blog posts that used to exist no longer exist. If you click on them now, it just redirects you straight back to the US PlayStation blog. Not sure why that is. Uh, and the US PlayStation blog has been renamed as just PlayStation blog. So it's now long, no longer uh, us.blog.com.playstation.com like it used to be. So my guess is that this is Sony's way of consolidating Europe and America and kind of creating a single PlayStation world that we can all live in in harmony and happiness and, 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 and enjoyment. And now we just have one blog. The, it's, it's, it's weird. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. The EU blog always posted slightly different information than the US blog. And it was kind of good to utilize both resources to get information. Now, if we only need one data source, I mean, that is kind of a good thing providing we still get the same information and we don't just miss out completely. But as a result of that, who knows if we're going to be able to get the new PlayStation releases, the European version that comes out normally weekly, or the drop, which normally comes out every weekend or every Friday uh, for the following or upcoming week. So not sure what that means. I guess we have to stay tuned for that and see if it pops back up next week. And if it does, I'll continue with that series. And if not, then uh, we can sunset that one pretty early on in its life cycle. <laughs> <laughs> it is another blistering, uh, well, it's not blisteringly cold, but it is a cold day here in Australia. I know that contrary to popular belief, it's always sunny in Australia, but unfortunately, the winter time, it does get mighty cold over here. So we don't have uh, the drop to talk about this week. So what I'll do is go into the... What do we have to look at first? Maybe we have a look at server shutdowns first uh, and see what they look like this week. The... So over on PlayStationTrophies.org, I have looked through this. This list here, I don't believe has changed since what we talked about last week. However, uh, if you go over to the comments section on here, I saw some interesting comments, I think on the last page. Yeah, here we go. So it looks like Sony shut down the servers for Killzone Mercenary on the PlayStation Vita. I don't think this was announced or it was public or anything like that. Looks like it's just gone poof and disappeared. Not ideal, given Killzone Mercenary was arguably one of the best first party PlayStation Vita games. However, it's worth yeeting this, I guess, or heeding this as a warning for other PlayStation Vita games that might get shut off in the future just silently if they haven't already just disappeared already. So what I would suggest doing is if you're on the fence about any PlayStation Vita Platinums that you might want to earn, uh, if you've started any games that might potentially have online trophies, uh, especially if they're first party Sony ones, I wouldn't hesitate. I would go ahead and earn those as soon as possible, just in case this is the end of those servers. I wouldn't be shocked if Vita online servers for games end up being sunset with the launch of Sony's new console, uh, along with maybe PS3. I don't even think there's any PS3 games remaining active on on from Sony's lineup. So that's probably not as relevant, but Vita for sure, it, it seems to be that they, they could be going wayward. I, I don't know why, or it just maybe there's not enough people playing it, it doesn't make sense anymore to keep it active, is probably my assumption. That's the only thing in here that I saw this week that I think is worth 
talking about in terms of it shutting down. Everything else in here, I everything else this week, I should say, I don't believe was super, super relevant. Yes, yeah, so that's that's all there really is in terms of server shutdowns. Kind of sucks about Killzone Mercenaries. I never got the online stuff done in that game, which means that it's kind of unobtainable now. I always liked the idea of Killzone Mercenaries as well and having that plat, but I guess I'll, I'll get over it. There's so many Platinums now that are unobtainable because of server shutdowns that I'm never going to be able to get. Uh, before we go into the other trophies this week, I guess it's worth mentioning, we've got this uh, Future of Gaming reveal for the PlayStation 5 coming up this week. This is happening on June 4th at 1pm Pacific PDT, Pacific Time. Exciting. I guess we get to see some new PS5 games. I hope everyone's really pumped for that. I'll be uh, tuning in from over here in Australia and I will be doing a video afterwards, I guess, wrapping up my thoughts on the whole thing and, and, uh, and I guess, examining the games that have been revealed, um, which could be interesting to see. I guess this will be our lineup of launch titles for PS5, which is, which is exciting. We're finally getting some PS5 information. Sony's been very quiet on PS5 up until now, so who knows why. Okay, so in terms of stuff this week... I only know about two games that are actually launching this week, and that's because over on the PlayStation blogcast, they referenced two specific titles coming out this week. The first of those two titles was a game called uh, Strawberry Vinegar. And, and it's actually in line with kind of what we want to talk about as well, because it's the next title on PSN profiles that we're up to on last week. You can see it is here, and a couple of people have already earned the Platinum we actually already have a guide for it. This is a this is a visual novel, and I believe it's a Radaliga title as well. Yep. So it turns out it is a Radaliga title. Uh, apparently, strawberries and vinegar is actually a thing too, and it just so many weird Google results came up when I searched for that. But yeah, it's a it's a Vita uh, Vita. It's a Radaliga game uh, for the PS4. So as with all Radaliga games, we know it's going to be an easy plat. This one is a really bronze heavy list and silver heavy list. However. There is a guide over here from Waddy's WDS. He's got like all the options here. So with a uh, visual novel, you always just pick the options and generally uh, they're really, really quick because, and, and actually some of the quickest games or platinums that you can earn purely because you can just follow the steps in the guide and uh, it makes it a lot easier. So Waddy's has already done that for us. So we have another really simple platinum here if you're wanting to get this one. Uh, it doesn't say how long it's going to take. He's just got a guide here. But I have seen some people talking about it elsewhere. I've said it's about 15 to 20 minutes to get the platinum in this one if you follow the guide. So another pretty easy one. And you get some cool trophy images of food over here. You get some corn, shaved ice, some uh, some dango, never heard of that, and some candy floss. Some onigiri. I like me some onigiri and some pancakes. Well, there's a lot of food, eh? Um... Yeah, so that's that's a, that's an interesting one coming out this week. We've also got the other game that's launching this week, which we'll talk about now, and then we'll come back to the rest of the stuff, is this game here called Good Dog, Bad Dog. This is a game we covered a couple of weeks ago on the channel. I did a video about the trailer for the game. Uh, and off the back of that, the developer actually reached out to me, and, uh, and we've been going back and forth a little bit for the last couple of weeks with him giving me a bit of information about this one. He let me know there was a platinum in the game, which was exciting. It's unfortunately it's a really bronze heavy trophy list. It's not a it's not a and not a gold stacked list which I would have liked. But good on them. The the developers of this one are called Playem. So good on Playem for getting uh, a a platinum trophy in their game. I know that uh, new developers on PlayStation do sometimes struggle to get a platinum trophy in their game. So kudos to to them. I actually don't know what the, the guy's name is. I don't think he signed off with his name. But kudos to them for getting the platinum in the game and uh, and giving us a really solid trophy list. And it's a VR title. So double whammy of yes, that's awesome, uh, because we often see VR titles just not getting a platinum. I know the last couple of weeks we've looked at games coming out which just don't have plats, unfortunately. So this is um, so this is launching this week as well. Uh, I think it could be just coming out in the US store, not the EU store, uh, but I'm not 100% certain on that. We'll know more later in the week once the store updates. And we see all the new releases but exciting stuff i've actually been looking forward to trying this one out for a couple of weeks now i know that it, it looks like the image is a bit funny but i think that's the point right like good dog bad dog it's, it's supposed to be kind of quirky uh, the plate doesn't look too bad as well it, it looks like there's some really funny things in here that you've got to do as your uh, as your dog boy 
vomit for the first time, break the leash for the first time, get caught by the dog catcher, uh, eat all the mushrooms in the neighborhood, eat all the butterflies in the neighborhood. There's a thing here for like bite everything in the game except for birds. Uh, I don't know where it is. It must be further down. Play through one karma session with a good dog as a female dog. I guess you have to play. It means you've got to play the game four times potentially. Um, as a male good and bad and as a female good and bad. You've got like these things here for earning uh, 10,000 points or negative 10,000 points depending on how good or bad you actually are as well. Oh yeah, here we go. Bite everything in the game excluding birds. Pee on all the people in the game. Uh, fart near every person. So they wrinkle their nose. Bark at every person in the game. Uh, it, it's kind of cool. And like, to be, to be honest, for a player, I don't believe I've released a game on PlayStation before. So for a team or an individual, I guess, who hasn't done that before, the, uh, they've, they've actually put a decent amount of care into this trophy list. So hats off to you, player. Wait a second, hang on. Hats off to you, player. You've done well. You've done a good job on this trophy list. It is Platinum Trophy approved. And yeah, I'll, I'll check this game out later in the week. I might do a first play. It's a VR game, which I have never recorded myself doing VR before. Uh, but I do have a setup like just here somewhere, so I can probably just... I'll figure a way of doing it so we can... We can check this one out as well. So that's Good Doge, Bad Doge. Um, and we looked at Strawberry Vinegar. They're the only two games that I'm aware of that are coming out this week. Uh, my assumption, though, would be it's a quiet week, given we're going into June now, which is normally E3 month. Summer in America, I know it's not everywhere, but it is in the US, which means that game releases get more scarce uh, as, as that, that kind of period kicks in. Fiddle around with my lighting in here because it seems way darker than normal. Uh, many faces is worth mentioning because we have three stacks for that one. Oh, look at that platinum. Your boy, you know your boy earned it. Um, this is like a shooter game that came out last week on the PlayStation Store. It's a very easy platinum. It took me less than 20 minutes to earn. It's definitely one of the easiest platinums that have come out this year. It's definitely the easiest one this month as well. And uh, e easy and quick, I should probably say. So I've got a guide up on the channel for this one if you want to go check that one out. It's well worth checking out if you're after a really quick, easy plat with a ton of gold trophies. Essentially, you just play the game. You get to defeat three bosses. Uh, you're this little dude here, and he shoots his gun depending on where you point your analog stick. The gimmick of the game is that uh, you earn hats every time you finish a level, and the hat augments things in the game. So maybe it gives you a different type of bullet. Uh, it gives you uh, the ability to jump higher or run across platforms without them being destroyed or something like that. So there are like these weird little augments that, that happen in the game. Uh, but it was a it was a pretty fun game. And I don't normally enjoy those easy plats, but this one was a really solid game. Uh, we got Made of Skyr or Skier. Uh, this is a horror game by the looks of it. I haven't looked into this one too much, except for the fact that it's got a gold and silver heavy trophy list. The reason I'm interested in this one is because it's developed by Wales Interactive. They're the guys who put together the FMV games, which normally have a pretty straightforward plat. Uh, so think of, if you've not played a Wales game before, they're very similar to like a Quantic Dream game or a like Until Dawn type game, uh, but full motion video. So real actors playing the part of the game, uh, almost like a... I guess like a movie that you're interacting with in a way. They released a, a couple of them in the past which have been very, very cool. Um, we can have a look at them actually because uh, we can we can do that now. Um, oh, this isn't even all of them, but that, yeah, the, the Bunker is one of their games. That was kind of their first one, I think. And then The Complex uh, was another one of their games. Here we go. The Late Shift was, uh, was, was one of my favorites personally. The Shapeshifting Detective, um, Dr. Decker. They've released quite a few different uh, types of these FMV games that are pretty neat and worth checking out if you're into that kind of thing. I quite like story-based games, so uh, they appeal to me. This looks like a horror one, which uh, kind of works for me as well because I do like horror games. Just noticed here there's a forum post saying it's potentially been delayed to July by Monster Condo, nope, by Anime Rare. So the delayed first person survival horror game made of scare from June to July. It will launch on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One Windows in July and October on Nintendo Switch. This actually doesn't look to be a visual a v FMV game then. This looks to be a first person survival horror game, which would be different than what they've done in the past, unless I'm missing something. But 
either way, these guys are a pretty solid developer. Uh, I vouch for them. Trophy list doesn't look too bad for that one as well. Bug Fables launch, we talked about that last week. Office Quest, we don't have a plat for. Uh, Demetrios, I think that came out a while back. It looks like a, a stack. Castle Pals was another game that came out this week. It's a it's a platforming puzzle game, I guess. You play as these two different characters. Uh, you play as a dude who can fly and a female character who can punch and kick. Uh, and But the guy can't attack, he can just jump and fly. She can jump, but she can't fly, but she can punch and she can kick. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the general gist. Um, there'll be a roadmap for this game coming out later next week. I just haven't had a chance to put it together yet. It's a probably 15 to 20 minute platinum as well. You've got to complete the whole first act and half of the second act to earn the trophies. So it's not a huge amount of the game. Um, it's just puzzles and platforming. You've got to push buttons onto certain points so that they can activate. You've got to dodge lasers, dodge enemies or kill enemies. Um, it's it's not super complicated. It's a pretty straightforward one. I uh, got the platinum without actually looking at the trophy list. I just played the game for about I don't know twenty minutes or so, and uh, earned the platinum that way. Uh, so it wasn't a very time consuming one at all. We have those who remain, which I am still excited to play. I haven't had a chance to do it yet, uh, which came out on the PlayStation Store last week. This is a first person action horror thriller game. I would have called it like a thriller in appearance. I know a couple of you guys have mentioned your excitement for this one as well, so I think there's a couple of people on the channel who are keen to play it. The trophy list is very vague and ambiguous, but it is very gold and silver heavy, which normally indicates it's pretty easy. I haven't seen any roadmaps or guides or anything for this or how long it's gonna take people to platinum it, and I actually haven't had a chance to jump into it yet myself. I have been meaning to a week, but I just haven't had a chance to, to get it I was trying to do it this weekend, but I just uh, I just didn't get the time. So um, I'll try that out this week, and hopefully I'll have a bit more information about that. If it's an easy platinum, I'll have a roadmap up for it. Hopefully later in the week as well. Uh, and that's that's really it. We're at the top now. We've got uh, Evans Remains, One Dog Story, Shante, which we looked at last week, and then Project Warlock. Let's have a look at that. I have no idea what that is. Here you go. This is the dead giveaway for it being a hard plat. Evil Nightmare. Complete the game on hardcore difficulty. So it's, uh, it's not going to be a simple one. It's going to be a harder one. It, it looked promising, though, because it had seven golds and only two bronze, which is generally how you can tell. You're like, oh, look, that looks like it's going to be an easy plat. Um, but uh, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's all the games uh, on the PSN profiles this week. Again, it's been a short week. This is another website I thought I would mention. I know we've gone long, but I, I kind of wanted to bring this up. This is a website called GameStat. Uh, I use this one here to track latest additions to PSN. So this here updates weekly and it shows you all the games that have been uploaded to the PlayStation Network servers on a weekly basis. You know once uh, a game data, I guess, has been uploaded to the PlayStation Store, at least in the back end. Uh, this one here is kind of useful if you're wanting to just keep an eye on what's coming out, especially if there's no drop each week. Uh, I find this kind of useful to check out and see like kind of some of the new releases. And uh, normally it doesn't give you them as accurately as the drop does. Uh, and it shows you games that could be coming out in the next weeks or months. But as you can see here, uh, Made of Skya and its two SKUs have been released onto the store already, even though the game has been delayed. So I'm guessing there's a patch or a marketing deal or something that they have to sort out before that can come out. Um, but you can see it's up on there now. So kind of interesting. Just thought it was worth mentioning. Maybe I'll do a separate episode about this. If you guys find it interesting, I can I can do that. Lots of other stuff you can do on here as well. Looking at Xbox, looking at PSN, tracking popular games. Um, but if you're interested, I can I can do more about this. And yeah, that's that's about it. But that's that's it for the Platinum Trophy Show this week. Uh, trying to just sort of make it a little bit more chilled out, a bit interesting. Talking about some stuff, drinking a Starbucks. And, uh, and just having a nice Sunday night here in cold, cold Australia. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Platinum Trophy Show. If you did, then don't forget to give your boy a thumbs up, like the video. It's uh, it's super helpful. Are you going to be checking out any of the games mentioned in this episode? Or are you excited about any of the stuff mentioned in this episode? I'm guessing everyone's going to be excited about the PS5 news happening at the end of this week. 
I know it's been such a long time before we've had any news about the next generation consoles. So pretty exciting to finally have something about the games on PS5, which is going to be cool. Uh, I'm currently working on or working towards my 200th Platinum as well. I took some recommendations for that and I uh, everyone gave me some super helpful tips on what I should be going for. Uh, I think I've settled on Crash Bandicoot 2 because it's one of my favorite games of all time. I love Crash Bandicoot, but specifically I love Crash Bandicoot 2. I never platinumed it when it came out on the Insane Trilogy. I played through it and that was enough, uh, but I think I'm going to make that my 200th Platinum. So thank you for that recommendation. Uh, I really, really appreciate everyone who, who had some input in that as well. I might have a video up about that. Who knows? Like, Maybe maybe that would be an interesting uh, thing to, to publish next week if I can earn it in time next week. Uh, but with all the PS5 news coming out, who knows? All right, guys, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in, uh, in the next episode, I suppose, or in the next video, which will be up on the channel tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and I'll see you in the new week. Bye for now.